Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another 16 trades. And I did 16 trades out of 19. So I traded most of the instruments today. And if you ever want to become a successful, profitable um, trader, you have to learn how to do multiple trades at a time. This is the only way that you can make a lot of money trading the markets. So, and I teach, by the way, exactly um, how to do these things within the uh, training videos of how I trade live. Like I said, as I scroll down here, there's 16 trades I took. They were all winners. And as you can see, the grand total. I took the trade, all the trades, before 7. Some of them I had to wait for them to complete. Looks like this one here is the last one I closed. Or here's another one, which was before 10 o'clock this morning. Now every morning, I'm in front of the computer at 6 a.m. right where this vertical line is. And I'm looking at the charts and of course I start off with my daily trade plan. And of course I added my super signal indicator. Super signal indicator on top like with the pro trader. And that's this box that pops up with an audio sound. This really helps to find the beginning of the up and down cycles within the market. Now this is great for traders who love to scalp the markets on the five minute time frame. You can easily trade all three trading sessions 24 hours a day. And um, of course moving forward, every system that I plan on trading with into the future, I will be using the Super Signal Indicator. So now we can move this box out of the way, as I don't really need it at this point in time. Now I dropped um, all the trades down to the five minutes so I can get a more accurate reading for the pips and the ticks. But when I'm trading, I'm on the 15 minute time frame. And I have a timer that beeps every 15 minutes to match up with the 15 minute candles. Every 15 minutes, I'm going through the instruments. So this is things that you have to learn and master. And of course, doing that will help me to get into trade, manage the trade and eventually close out the trade. Let's take a look at the daily trade plan. Here it is right here. I took this green shot a little after 6 a.m. this morning. Just to let you know, I do take screenshots about 6 and then around 7 and then around 8. And this one happens to be at 6, this one is at 7, and this one is at 8. And as you can clearly see, um, it changes. But going back to the first one, and of course, um, before I pull the trigger, I take a quick look at the Daily Trade Plan Expert Advisor and to double check to make sure um, I'm going in the right direction. This is a must have if you wish to succeed at trading. Keep that in mind. So now we can move this out of the way. So let's go through these trades, the pound Swiss, there's the arrow. I manually put this in because I it helps me to remember whether I should be buying and selling. And of course, on the 15 minutes, if you go to the 15 minutes, it's more clear. That's why I like the 15 minutes. Anyhow, that's a good tip for you. But anyhow, on the, on the five minutes, I know I want to be selling. So let's see where I got in at. Should have got in around here. And the market went down, up, down, till finally I just decided to close out the trade with a small winner. 
and it looks like um, that winner happened to be about uh, between one and two pips anyhow. Um, let's just go with one. And that one ended up paying out $197. Uh, this money here tells me it's closer to two. But anyhow, one or two is not a big deal. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, which is the dollar CAD. Wanted to be buying it originally, and of course, uh, the market changed direction, so you got to be prepared for that. So let's see where I got in at. Took the trade at this cursor, mostly went sideways, and I got out at, uh, looks like a, a good price even though it was only about 18 pips. And looks like those 18 pips ended up paying out $1,300. Moving right along to the next trade, the Euro Aussie. Another one I wanted to be buying directly from the daily trade plan. So that was a buy signal right here, set up candle, trigger candle. Got in a little bit later, but it wasn't too worried about it. And I closed it out, it looks like with 24 pips. And those 24 pips ended up paying a $1,492. Okay, moving on to the next trade. I did crude oil. Let's see where crude oil is. Wanted to be buying directly from the daily trade plan. So let's see where I got in at went up and down and you know the way the market moves if I stayed in longer I would have made more here and even more there but looking at the money and due to the fact it does pay ten dollars on each pip this should be 18 um, ticks it's actually called ticks and there it is right there 18 ticks times the ten dollars times the lot size paid out one thousand eight hundred dollars Okay, moving on to the next trade, which is the Euro Yen. Wanted to be buying it. There's the arrow directly from the daily trade plan. And here we go. I knew it was going to go up with 95% certainty. And if I stayed in a trade, I would have made a lot more. But that's okay. I'm always happy with the grand total. Looks like about 30 pips here, and those 30 pips paid out $1,974. Okay, let's move on to the next trade I did, pound CAD. There's the arrow. I knew I wanted to be selling. You can see the market's going down. Let's see where I got in at. We got sell arrows. Took the trade here. It did do a bit of a pullback. It looks like I got out rate on the ADR low. And on this trade, looks like I ended up making about 31, looks like. So 31 pips times the money times the 10 lots paid out $2,240. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, the Euro dollar. Now this one pays $10 on each pip because same as the uh, pound dollar, the USD is on the right hand side. So I wanted to be selling it. So that's exactly what I did. Glad I'm out of the trade because if I didn't close the trade, I'd be losing now. Remember, trade management is very important. And what, uh, um, Looking at the money, this should be 24. So let's see, there it is right there. 24 pips times the $10 times the 10 lots paid out $2,400. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, which is the pound New Zealand. Wanted to be selling it, again, from the daily trade plan. See how important the daily trade plan is? It's a must have. And this is the way the market moves. It moves up and down, it's very random. That's why you need some kind of a daily trade plan. Decided to hit this area of resistance here. And once I saw this double top, I knew it was going to start to go in the direction of my daily trade plan. 
took the trade at this cursor and I close it out just being happy with about looks like 46 pips and those 46 pips ended up paying out two thousand six hundred and twenty dollars okay let's continue with the next trade pound dollar this one pays ten dollars um, on each pip and looking at the money down at the bottom uh, let's see it should be 28 took the trade market does what the market does every day and once you understand how the market the flow of the market which is what I also teach then you will start to find success let's see it should be 28 27 28 there it is right there 28 pips times the ten dollars times the lots paid out two thousand eight hundred dollars moving on to the next trade pound Aussie let's run a check on that the daily trade plan said to sell there's the arrow so another one that decided to go up against me but not a big deal as I was knew from the daily trade plan I wanted to be selling it and I closed it out this trade at this point being happy with 47 pips and those 47 pips paid out two thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars okay we're moving on to the next trade the DAX uh, 30 let's see now on this DAX 30 it does pay three dollars and seventy five cents for each uh, tick so I took the money, divided it by $3.75. And um, the calculator, as I'm looking at it now, says 110. So sold it. The market went against me. And then finally, when I saw a double bottom over here, I knew um, it's not going to go anymore. Matter of fact, on this buy arrow, I could have bought and gone the other direction. But... Um, you know, how many pips and ticks do you really want each day? And what did I say? 110. That's 1.8. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it right on. But that's as close as I'm going to get. You can get a calculator, figure it out. It does say 110. Times the money, times the 10 lots, paid out $4,125. Okay, let's move on to the next um, instrument. Matter of fact, the next one, two, three, four, they're all correlated. So if you sell one, you can sell all four of them. It's not a big deal, which is exactly what I did. Uh, S&P 500 right here. I wanted to be selling it and, and the market did give a push. As you can see, even though it's a small push, and then finally, as we all know, any time after, between um, after about 8.30 and 9.30, the market can easily change directions. That's the opening bell right here. No big surprise as it went that way. Let's bring the blue box in here, make it look a little bit better. There we go. So I used a calculator. And um, let's see, calculator, after I took the money, divided it by five, because it pays $5 on each, uh, each tick. And the calculator says it's 82. And it looks like that's as close as I'm gonna be able to get, 81.9, but it's 82. So times the $5, times the 10 lots paid out four thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars remember the market is very random and it does this every day so you gotta keep an eye on your trade and be prepared for the, the market going in a different direction next trade I took was the Dow Jones this one also pays five dollars on each tick so I took the trade, uh, used a calculator, and the calculator says it's 101. So 
Guardian at this cursor. As soon as, and I close it out here. Exactly what I said. Well, I think it's going to give me a hard time. Yep, what between a hundred and a hundred and two, but the calculator says it's one oh one. 101 ticks times the 5 times the 10 lots paid out $5,050. Moving right along to the next trade, the Russell. Now the Russell pays $10 for each um, tick. Looking at the money here, it should be 51. So let's see where I got in at. Took a trade here, went up a little bit, finally went down, and I'm glad I got out before the... Um, opening bell and when the market starts to go crazy and by the way this is tradable right from this point and again this point and then again this point then again this point uh, lots of trades to be made as long as you know how to trade the markets um, what I say 51 there it is right there 51.8 you remove the last digit, so it's 51 times the $10 times the lots is $5,100. Okay, moving on to the NASDAQ. Love trading the NASDAQ, along with the DAX 30, of course, and the Russell. They're all fantastic instruments to trade. Let's see where I got in at on this NASDAQ. Right at this cursor. I used the calculator divided by 20 as it pays $20 for each tick. Calculator says it's 36 ticks. So let's see if we can find 36 ticks. There it is right there. You remove the last two digits. So it's 36 ticks times the $20 times the 10 lots paid out $7,200. Okay, let's move on to the last trade, gold. Gold I wanted to be buying. There's the arrow. Let's see where I got in at. Market does this. I see it every day. But daily trade plan tells me not to freak out. And um, looking at the money, since it pays uh, $10 for each tick, it should be 146. 146. There it is right there. You remove the actually 146.9, but anyhow, we'll forget about anything past the point. So remo you remove the last digit. So it's 146 times the $10 times the 10 lots paid out $14,690. So another great day of trading. Great way to end this week. Trading is a lot of fun easy to do at least it is for me because I know how to trade the markets which is what you must learn how to trade the markets or the flow of the market so I just added up all the pips and the ticks and I knew it was going to be over 600 for today grand total was 793 pips and ticks and all of those pips and ticks paid out $60,075 so if your system is not producing, like my ProTrader system, well, I recommend you get your hands on it. And don't forget about the Daily Trade Plan Expert Advisor. So I'm going to be showing you four packages, and if you buy two of them, I'll give you the one of your choice for free. So you buy two, I give you one for free. All these packages are right below this video, and that's where you'll see this right up. As I mentioned, each of the packages do cost $250. This is the Pro Trader system. And due to the fact we're running short of time, I'm not going to uh, read too much. You can put the video on pause. As you can see, all the training videos are in here. And there's a lot of training videos within How I Trade Live um, with advanced trading tips. And this is the um, expert advisor for the daily trade plan. This is a must have coming with three videos focusing on the expert advisor. So as I mentioned, if you buy, say the first two I just showed to you, 
You can either take the Easy Trader system with the Super Signal Indicator. This is a fantastic system by itself. Or you can take the Super Signal Indicator and put it on any system you have and it will make it a much better trading system. So you can either take this for free or you can take this one for free. How I Trade Live Advanced Trading Tips. Just to let you know, I'm officially up to 20 trading videos and this is where I am going to stop. Um, the last video will be on today's date, which is October the 21st. So like I mentioned, all you got to do is pick two and buy any two and the third one is for free. So anyhow, if you have any questions at all, now you can put this video on pause at any point in time and look over everything and check out everything here all the different ways that I teach how to trade the markets if you have any questions pick up the phone and call me here's my number now if you live too far well simple just send me an email here's my email address remember there's an underscore right here now I do prefer Skype made it easy for you all you gotta do is click right here and we will have Skype connection and through Skype screen sharing I'll give you a free session answer your questions give you some tips and tricks. Uh, keep in mind I do all of that with no obligation to you. So it's just about time to wrap up this video and uh, of course if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until the next trading day and video, well should be Monday as long as it all goes well. Um, between now and then I want to wish you uh, good luck with your uh, trading have a fantastic weekend, and uh, remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye for now.